In this example, I need to find the exact value of the tangent of negative 240 degrees. As the problem states exact value, I can't use my calculator as that will give me a decimal approximation. I need to use the unit circle shown over here. Now is negative 240 degrees on the unit circle? No, if you look at all the angles on the unit circle, they're greater than or equal to zero. Now there are two ways of doing this problem. I'm going to show you both and you can pick the method you prefer. The first method uses the fact that the tangent function is an odd function. What do we mean by that? A function f is an odd function if f of negative x equals negative f of x for all x in the domain of f. So in this case, the tangent of negative 240 degrees is equal to the negative tangent of positive 240 degrees by this definition of odd functions. So now we need to find the tangent of 240 degrees. Now remember, for every angle on the unit circle, the x-coordinate is the cosine of that angle, the y-coordinate is the sine of that angle. So I'm going to have to write the tangent function in terms of sines and cosines. And remembering that the tangent function is the sine function divided by the cosine function, I'm going to get the negative instead of the tangent of 240 degrees. I'm going to have the sine of 240 degrees divided by the cosine of 240 degrees. And those two values I can find from my unit circle. So bringing down the negative, what is the sine of 240 degrees? Here's 240 degrees. And the y-coordinate is the sine of 240 degrees. So I'm going to get negative the square root of 3 over 2, all divided by the cosine of 240 degrees, which is negative a half. Now I have one, two, three negatives multiplied and divided in this expression, so my answer is going to be negative. Now to divide the fractions, take the fraction in the numerator, the square root of three divided by two, leave it alone. Multiply it by the reciprocal of the fraction in the denominator. What's the reciprocal of one half? It's two over one. Reduce the two twos. I get negative the square root of 3 times 1 divided by 1 times 1 is 1. So my answer is just negative the square root of 3. So I know that the tangent of negative 240 degrees is the negative square root of 3. The second method I want to look at uses coterminal angles, as the trig functions of coterminal angles are equal. So taking my given angle of negative 240 degrees, I need a positive angle that's coterminal with it, so add one revolution, and as I'm in degrees, that's 360 degrees. Negative 240 degrees plus 360 degrees is 120 degrees. Now, is 120 degrees on my unit circle? Yes, it's over here. So I know that the tangent of negative 240 degrees equals the tangent of its coterminal angle, which is 120 degrees. And now we're going to rewrite that in terms of sines and cosines. So it's the sine of 120 degrees divided by the cosine of 120 degrees. 
and the sine of 120 degrees is the y coordinate of this point. So it's going to be the square root of 3 divided by 2 divided by the cosine of 120 degrees, which is the x coordinate of this point, which is negative a half. A positive divided by a negative is a negative. Take the fraction in the numerator, leave it alone. So I have the square root of 3 over 2 divided by 1 half, which means multiply by its reciprocal of 2 over 1. The 2's reduce, I get negative the square root of 3 times 1 over 1 times 1 is 1, which is just negative the square root of 3. So I know that the tangent of negative 240 degrees is equal to the negative square root of 3. Did I get the same answer as I did by the other method? Yes. It's up to you which method you pick.